Joy Warmington. I work for an organisation called BRAP, B-R-A-P, which is an Equalities and Human Rights Charity, and I'm the CEO. So what I was trying to convey at the conference today was a, a bit of a, um, a summary of a report that we did at BRAP, which was looking at 30 to 40 years of equality practice in Birmingham. And what we were trying to answer was, has there been an, an impact on some of the key issues that affect people in their lives, like education, employment, housing, health, etc.? And what are the things that are making that impact? So we looked at the data, which was really hard because sometimes we lose institutional memory. So we think we should have all of this data available, but we don't. So we attempted uh, to try to draw together information that helped us to understand where were people 30, 40 years ago on some of those areas of, in their lives. And then we've then jumped forward to current um, times and thought, well, have we made that progress? And what are the things that have helped to make that progress? So we've really tried to look at what are the levers that create change for people. Well, there have been improvements made over the 30-year period, but the rate of change isn't the same for everybody. And, um, you know, there's been a range of laws, and new freedoms granted for group, particular groups of people. Um, but in terms of the basic things, um, especially for some groups in Birmingham, they haven't changed. So educational achievement haven't changed, for example, uh, very critically for, for black and minority ethnic people. Some groups do very well, so Chinese groups do very well, Indian groups do very well, but some groups of people have done consistently badly throughout the whole of that 30-year period. So um, Black Caribbean, Black African, Bangladeshi groups, although there have been some changes. I wouldn't want to say, oh, it's been the same, but it's not increased the rate of progress as, as in the way that I think we would have really liked. So that's just on an education measure. Unemployment has been very, very static. So you're still twice as likely to be unemployed um, if you are from particular minority ethnic groups as you were 30 years ago.